Hey everyone, Dolby109 here. Recently, I decided to try importing a car from Japan, and I wanted something fun and sporty, but I didn't want something too expensive for my first import process. So, I ended up settling on a Honda Beat, and I went with the cheapest Beat that I could find available in Japan, this one. As you can see, it's a little bit rough around the edges. I did see pictures of it before I got it, but in person it was a little rougher than I expected even. But it wasn't too bad. I've been able to clean it up a lot, and even still with the factory faded paint a little bit, it looks a lot better than I did. Here's the story of getting my beat running good and restoring it to a decent looking car so I could drive it around. So here we are, and we have gotten everything out of the port, and here we have uh, my Honda Beat. Now I will admit, it uh, does not look as good in person <laughs> as it did in the photos. So we're going to have to see what we can do with this and uh, fix it up a little bit. I knew it was going to take some fixing up anyway, but it's a little rougher inside than I expected. But that's what happens when you buy the cheapest Beat that, they, that they're selling. So. That's it for now. I need to get it uh, loaded and everything, so it's strapped down. So now that I've got the car home, it's time to assess the damage. So we'll start with the stickers. Unfortunately, the original footage got deleted, but we can still review the images. So obviously there's a lot of stickers on the outside of the car, but what's inside might be even worse. Here's the footage of that. Okay, so on the interior of the car we've also got even more stickers, right? So we've got this Honda badge here. One, two, I don't know, those are stuck. Um, aftermarket steering wheel. Uh, let's see what else we got. I mean, there's, uh, everything is either like some kind of weird pleather wrap or painted. So we'll not count that, but uh, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there anything in here? No, nothing in there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, including the big thing. Let's see, uh, on the inside of the mirror is twelve. On the front of the dash is thirteen, high power sticker. Uh, there's appears to be nothing much in here. Except a, I don't know, radiator cap? This, this, okay, so, 18. And uh, number 14 is a racing use only sticker on the uh, factory intake. Uh, 15. And that appears to be it for extra stickers. So in other things we've got is a bunch of electronics installed on this thing and some of them are silly like uh, literally positive to this thing to the negative and another one this thing positive straight to it to the negative and that's it they just they don't do anything except maybe drain power and probably some kind of con that told them that uh, They'd give him more power somehow or save gas mileage. And then he's got a bunch of other wires plugged in. That, I mean, look at this, this thing here. Three, three things. He's got one that's undone. And uh, inside here, uh, you got aftermarket radio, which only gets like two stations in America, apparently. So that's kind of interesting. And then there's this screen, which I've never seen turn on, so I don't even know if it works. Plug in. Here's kind of like just a pile of the junk that I found around like that come loose and stuff so well, apparently I didn't realize that the uh, cover for this back seat is missing back here or something like this one. I didn't even see this first pass ooh like a lufa okay so you know what this is surprise time is this a car cover? 
Okay, maybe, maybe this is like a car cover, I don't know. So, here. Or a parachute? Not sure. <laughs> Something. <laughs> it looks like a cover for the top. Maybe a top cover, but it's too small for, no, or just, too big for the top. Because hmm. you can see where the, the mirrors go. Yep. So it looks like it's just to cover the top itself. Huh. Interesting. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. <laughs> yeah, probably clips in. All right. Clips in up here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, see it. I bet you it clips in right here. Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Here we've got, so we've got a mess of wires up here. They go to the headlights or something. I don't know what, what's up with this. One of the headlights doesn't even work. We'll have to fix that. Uh, it'll be a project. One more strange thing in here that I forgot to mention is uh, this thing. There's like this weird seat cover that extends way past the uh, the <laughs> the edge of the seat, which is really annoying when getting in and out because you trip over it. And it's got some kind of like fan in here. I don't know what it does plugged in, was plugged into the cigarette lighter, it's like stuck in here, so I'm going to just cut it out. <laughs> it's just really, a lot of weird shit in here. Okay, here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, with, with the beat. So, uh, it's been a little while since I actually start, started filming the last point, but uh, I've already done the timing belt and water pump, and I've driven it around a little bit. Um, I wanted to kind of get a first reaction, but just didn't have the time to, or basically didn't have time to set up the camera. And, I thought it was really busy and everything, but it drives pretty good. There's uh, everything's real good except there is a little bit of a water leak that only happens sometimes in the front. So we're gonna have to figure that out. But generally it runs pretty good. But there are obviously, as I put out, a number of problems with it. Uh, the stickers I have to take off, so I, all the extra stuff. And one of the first things I noticed that was really annoying is this steering wheel. First of all, it's really big and it hits your knees here, and it's crazy flimsy. So. What I've done is I've gone and ordered a steering wheel. So here we go. So I went and ordered uh, this much, much, much nicer energy steering wheel. So we're going to see how this works. So it should be smaller. It's actually not as much smaller as I expected. In fact, it might not be smaller at all. So that might be a problem. But it is significantly more stiff already. So we'll have to see how that does. Um, should be the same pattern, so we'll see. Hopefully, it hooks up nice and easily. So, here we go. We will try and look on that. And so, there we have it. This new energy steering wheel just looks way better. Um, feels a lot better. Um, definitely, it like, doesn't have that flex in it. Very solid. Um, and that old steering wheel. And I managed to see it. Horn still works. Hopefully, it stays that way. I did have to kind of get out rig it a little bit. Uh, on the ground, but uh, seems like it should keep working. This is solid in here, so. All right, that's done. Now to work on these stickers. So here we get into removing the stickers and cleaning up the car, inside and out. So here was everything I took out and off of the car. As you can see, there's a ton of stickers here. There's also several sets of floor mats and trunk covers, uh, three sets in total. There was also this pleather cover for the dash and everything. Some other covers. I took out the backing for the Buddy racing seat. I think it's a Buddy racing seat. A bunch of plastic stuff. Uh, the three things that were connected to the battery. And some interior parts that I replaced are here.
So now that we've finally gotten through the extensive cleanup process, let's take it out for a drive and show you guys how it runs. That's all for now, but don't worry, there's plenty more to come.